Hello once again, this is Mike with Toy Train Tips and Tricks, and today we're going to take a close look at some of the rolling stock that is offered by home improvement chain Menards. Uh, if you're not familiar with Menards, they are a Wisconsin-based home improvement box store uh, that also carries a uh, significant line uh, and growing line of uh, toy trains, both HO and O scale. Um, and uh, so we're going to look at some of the o, o gauge rolling stock and see how it compares uh, to the offerings of Lionel and others, both in size and quality, and uh, take a closer look. Okay, taking a look first at the box cars offered by Menards, and these come in a wide assortment of road names and military themes. Um, nicely detailed, we see uh, we have opening doors. We have operating couplers uh, in the typical Lionel style. We have metal trucks with simulated springs. Uh, a little bit of brake detailing underneath and um, generally a very nice car. These retail for just under $20. Um, it's got a, a significant amount of weight to it. It, uh, it rolls freely and uh, generally a good quality car. Now, uh, I have read a lot of comments online from folks who uh, don't like these for one reason, and that is these cars are slightly larger than comparable Lionel box cars. Your traditional size, your 6464, your uh, 9200, 9700 of the MPC era. You'll notice the Menards cars are a little taller and a little longer. These are very close to true O scale uh, because they are based not on the Lionel model, but the dies for the Menards are actually related to uh, cars that were developed by AMT, uh, American Model Toys, or Auburn Model Trains, depending on what time period you're talking about. Uh, from approximately 1949 to 52, possibly 53, AMT um, made a series of cars and locomotives that really challenged Lionel to make advances first in passenger cars, and then starting in 1952, these box cars that were significantly larger and more scale-like than the cars that Lionel offered at the time. Um, and so if you notice from these dies and get in, but all of the details, if you can compare these side to side, everything down to the rivets, down to the way the doors, where the placards are located, um, these are basically the old AMT dies. Uh, after AMT uh, sadly went out of business in 1950. 253. They were taken over by Kusan out of Tennessee, who continued making these cars for a few years uh, before Kusan also went out of business. Uh, then these dies found their way into the hands of a manufacturer called KMT Chris Model Trains in the late 1960s, early 1970s. Um, when KMT uh, moved on, it for a short time, they were made by a company called Frank's Roundhouse, and then the dies found their way into possession of Williams. Um, so these cars, besides being used by Menards, um, you can also, the Williams Crown Line rolling stock is also made off of these dies. Um, and possibly, I'm not 100% sure, but I think some cars are also uh, in the RMT um, line as well. So uh, the, the actual dies are owned by a, uh, an overseas firm and these are imported by several different companies. Uh, the Menards cars come with different numbers and for me this is the one downside is uh, you can see that the the number here it's a slightly different color different font and that is basically an add-on sticker and that gives them a cheap way to produce different road numbers. So from a distance and at speed, you're not gonna notice it very much, but when you do get up close, 
you can definitely see, and you see the shine coming off of it there, of the add-on sticker decal. Otherwise, really nice details with the signage and that. And for the price, for $20, these are really, um, really nice cars. Um, the only other problem I've encountered is some of them come out with the metal trucks, a little bit of a squeak, a spot of oil on all the journals, and they're ready to go. So that's the Menards box car, and uh, let's take a look at the flat cars. Okay, so here we have a Menards U.S. Air Force missile flat car. The flat cars come in several different varieties. Uh, one, we have several different lengths. This is the shorter of the, uh, the two main lengths. They come with lots of different loads. You can get them with no load at all. Um, or you can get them with a bunch of military loads, with construction loads, with um, soda vans, uh, a large variety of different loads. And again, they come in two different lengths, the short length and as seen here and the slightly longer versions. Um, also, these can come either with the metal trucks like we saw with the boxcar, or in this case, uh, this is a plastic truck, metal wheels, plastic truck, uh, metal coupler tab, but uh, plastic coupler itself. And I suspect part of that is to keep the cost down on the loads, because even these cars with the missile load uh, is still a $20 item. Uh, so like the box cars, you can get them in different numbers. Some of them actually you can buy in bulk groups of four, five, or six, all with different numbers all at the same time if you want to make an instant unit train. And uh, so uh, the flat cars, just like the box cars, they, uh, they track well. Uh, they're all plastic, um, so they, uh, um, they're not as heavy as the box cars, but still uh, heavier than I would say a comparable Lionel MPC era flat. Speaking of which, for size reference, here it is compared to a Lionel uh, piggyback car. You see it's a, just a hair shorter than that. The longer versions of the flat cars would actually be longer than that. Or your typical short flat coming in your starter sets, you see that these Menards cars are quite a bit longer than the Lionel starter set flat car. Again, nice detail, very nice graphics, come in different numbers come with very interesting loads, missiles and tanks and helicopters and boats and lots of variety. If you're going, if you don't have a Menards in your area, you can order online. They will ship to your home in most states. Uh, they are not shipping to California right now because of packaging laws. Uh, but uh, if you have one in your area, um, the trains in the stores are somewhat of a seasonal item. They do move them off-season to the off-season area, but they, they tend not to get very much new stock. But you can order off the internet at any time, have it shipped to the store for free. And often with the internet purchase, you get some special deals. They'll throw in die-cast cars, or I got lamp posts and things like that. Um, so it's really a good deal. For $20 car, you, you can't beat the price. They have a wide variety. They have gondolas, which are pretty much dead ringers for the Lionel uh, gondola cars. Uh, quad hoppers, which again are almost dead on. They have tank cars, um, a wide variety, auto racks, and other things. They also make a cool line of structures and accessories. No locomotives at this time, um, but if you're looking for rolling stock and accessories, uh, check them out. Uh, Menards, they make some decent stuff at a really nice price. So uh, here we are today. Thanks for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And we'll see you next time on the railroad.